Hello, and welcome to the seventh of 31 installments of Scouching's 2019 NHL Draft Recaps. Today is going to be a short one. We're going to look at the Columbus Blue Jackets, who famously traded away everything they had to take a run at the Stanley Cup this year. That is a strategy that frankly I do respect, even though I'm draft-centered. And with Columbus's three picks, you could really just look at whoever they draft and just forgive them for whoever they took. But if you look at who they did take, it was very, very interesting. At 104, they took one of the most interesting swings in the entire draft, and I love it so much. They drafted Eric Hjorth, a player who played under 10 games all season long. He played most of his games at the under-18 level in Sweden. He was hurt for quite a lot of the year. Hjorth is a player that barely played, but when he did play, it was at the under-18 level in Sweden. He had six points in three games, which is pretty notable for any defenseman, and I'm really interested to see where he ends up. So if you don't have a lot of picks, swing huge, and Hjorth sounds like a huge swing. He shoots the puck a ton. He was far too good based on my numbers for the under 18 level, but I guess if he's coming back from injury, you want to ease him into things. And I would expect a very interesting prospect here for the Columbus Blue Jackets moving forward. At 114, the Columbus Blue Jackets took Dmitry Voronkov. He's one of the youngest overage prospects available this year and I'm not really sure where he goes from here. I felt the same way last year when Columbus took Kirill Marchenko, and when I've watched Marchenko play this year, I see a lot of why he went in the second round to Columbus. Voronkov might be in the same boat. I saw him play a few times, but I didn't see a tremendous amount that really jumped off the page to me. But he did play for a pretty bad team in a decent league, so I'm not really willing to write anyone off, especially with this pick. And with the 212th pick, the Columbus Blue Jackets took Tyler Angle, who I really don't know what to say. He's a guy. He's a swing. I don't really know. He didn't jump off the page to me. I would expect him to have a big year this year to make this pick even worth it. I think there were bigger swings they could have taken, but it's 212th overall. Frankly, my strategy going in if I'm Columbus is swing as hard as I can at every pick, and I feel like they didn't quite do that as much as they could have outside of Hjorth at 104. So if you've watched any scouting report videos, we're translating over the same rating system. The number is going to indicate the overall potential of the group of players a team drafts, and the letter is going to indicate the likelihood of reaching that potential as a whole. And with the Columbus Blue Jackets, I really don't know. I could throw anything against the wall and it would make sense. But I do think they're a strong 2F. I'm not really certain that any of these three players are going to turn into anything. But I do love the Eric Hjorth pick. They swung big on a big defenseman who scores points, even in limited viewing. I think there's a lot to like about that strategy. The other two picks could have been bigger swings, but Hjorth at 104 is just a lot of fun for me, so it's going to be interesting to see where they end up. So that's it for the Columbus Blue Jackets. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the Calgary Flames. If you liked the video, be sure to click all the buttons you see below so you never miss another one. If you really liked it, you could support us on Patreon, where you get access to private chat rooms, spreadsheets for drafted and undrafted NHL prospects, as well as plenty of other goodies. Or you can pick up some merchandise from the Scouchware shop. All the links are in the description. So that's it for this one, and I hope you join us in the next video where we look at the Calgary Flames.